find Ix, the moment of inertia of a triangle, about its own baseline. The first thing I want to do is look at what I can do to integrate this. I know that the integral of y squared dA is equal to Ix. And I don't have to deal with the parallel axis theorem if I'm going to integrate. So I want to find out what dA is. I'm going to take a horizontal stripe. This is just as if you were going to color the area. The height of my rectangle is dy, but the width of it is x. So dA is going to be x times dy. And this x at a place, this point, is yx, or xy. The equation for my line here, I have a slope of negative h over b. I have a y-intercept up at the top here of h. So my equation for the line y equals mx plus b is y equals minus h over b times x plus h. I can solve that for x, and I get y minus h equals minus h over b times x. Multiply by the inverse, and I get x equals b minus b over h times y. That's x. I can put x into dA. My integral now looks like y squared times b minus b over h times y dy, where this is dA. My limits of integration, since I'm integrating with respect to y, are 0 to h. And I can multiply that out. I get by squared minus b over h y cubed dy, which integrates pretty easily. This is a straight polynomial. y cubed over 3 and y fourth over 4, evaluated from 0 to h. Each of these is a bh cubed. This is a third, and this is minus a fourth. A third minus a fourth is a twelfth. So my moment of inertia for a triangle about its own baseline is one twelfth bh cubed. Note this is not going to be the same thing as the moment of inertia of the triangle about its centroid. We'll do that in another video. The other thing to remember is that this is y element, and we don't have to worry about changing that because this is at the same height all the way through. So those are the same. Thanks.